Hey guys, Anna Quartz here, and I am gonna show you guys something today that is so pretty cool. Actually, it's 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 so really cool. <laughs> kind of, yeah. It's it's really cool. But I um yeah, I was I was just kind of funny. But um so yeah, I have made the ability. I have allowed again. I have made the. I have made it so that you can um you can um. Mobs can evolve. Sorry, not you. Not, it has it has something to do with you, but it's it's just you doing normal Minecraft. It's the mobs that change. It's so if I do if I let's say I summon a zombie over here. So let me just um set the time tonight so he doesn't um burn. So um if I summon a not a mushroom cow, let's summon a zombie. Zombie. Ta-da! He's just a he's just a normal. Okay, so he's kind of a, he went as a kind of a really evolved zombie. So if we, if we get a wooden sword in our inventory, then he's going to have a stick. Actually, we're just going to kill this guy. Because what happens? No, not kill me. Kill him. Ah. Um, kill at E type equals. Uh, I don't even know why I killed myself. I was just like, flash kill. And I, was, I thought it was, are you going to read my mind, computer? You're just going to be like. A slash kill and it just kills the zombie instantly and I'm like oh my gosh it can read my mind and then but then everything would already be done then you couldn't then you wouldn't have to really work for stuff in Minecraft which wouldn't be very fun so um okay let's get back to the command blocks so if I summon some you summon a <laughs> um, zombie he goes he's right here he's a baby okay let's let's do it on a baby zombie do it on the little baby zombie right here. So right now I have a wooden sword in my inventory. So he's gonna spawn with a stick in his hand. So yes, he's gonna spawn with a little stick. So then he um and but then if I get a stone sword in my hand, then he gets a wooden sword. Then the zombie gets a gets a little wooden sword. And then if I get an iron sword, then the zombie gets a stone sword. And then if I finally get a diamond sword, then the zombie gets an iron sword and an iron helmet on top of them so they would so they would um not burn in sunlight. So it's um yeah, it's it's kinda like a mob evolution system. How that comes kind of as you start getting more things and the mobs start getting more things. And it works with creepers too. So if I summon creeper, so if I summon a creeper, there's the creeper right there. But if I get a um a chest plate on me. If I get a leather tunic, my inventory, if you can see over the ear, it says um, chest level. So if I get my leather tunic right here, and then I go into survival, game mode zero, yes. Now if I go over here, he explodes me. Yes, that's that should be that's a little more powerful than a normal creeper blast, I think. But I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I'm not. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah, it's it should be more powerful than a normal creeper blast. So let's just um, effect at p um, instant. Ah, sorry. It's just um, it, it it's okay. Okay, so we are gonna um just normally heal. Let's just give my actually let's give myself the effect um at p Minecraft instant health um, yeah let's just do that again okay cool I just I just gave myself some um, instant health so cool so we have um, so basically if now if I go and I get a um, actually I'm just gonna give it to myself if I do give at P iron chest plate iron chest plate so now if I go over here and I summon another creeper s u m l n um, creeper. I walk over here, and then if he explodes, he still does a pretty big amount of damage, even though that I already have this, um, this iron chest plate. No, I don't want to give myself, I want to give myself that, yeah, instant health, instant health, instant health. <laughs> instant help. So yeah, I um yeah I got another iron chest plate. But um so yeah, it's still very powerful. So it's 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 still the very um the very powerful creeper blast. And then if I get a diamond chest plate, give at p diamond chest plate. There you go, diamond chest plate. So now my diamond chest plate, and then I summon another creeper. Summon creeper over here, and then he explodes. 
Uh, well, I, I didn't, yeah, you didn't, you didn't see him because my mouse was whacking out <laughs> while it was going really crazy. But I, um, but yeah, it, it still did relatively the same amount of damage as it would um, normally. So yeah, I mean, it's basically, it's mob evolution. It's like I'm, I'm, mobs are evolving. So if I get go into game mode um, one, I can, you can see how this works. So what it does is it first, I have these two scoreboards currently and it's called um, sword level and chest level. And what it does is that sword level is when you right click on the command block, it um, is, it basically, it gives any um, scoreboard to any player and to all players, so score level zero, um, sword level zero, if in their inventory they have a wooden sword. So basically anyone that has a wooden sword will get score level zero. And then anyone who has score level, um, sword level one will get a score sword level one um, anyway, no, anyone that is just, um, that has a stone sword in their inventory gets a sword level, it's a score sword level of one. It's kind of a, kind of a tongue twister, but it's, uh, um, I said it. So, um, yeah, so stones, if anyone has a stone sword in their inventory, then they get sword level, um, one. But so then if they get, uh, so then the exact same thing for, um, iron sword, you get sword level two, and diamond sword, you get sword level three. And then what it does over here is this what this is what really changes the mobs. And it's using the new replace item um, command with um, 1.8. Basically, anyone, execute for everyone that has a sword level minimum one and a score sword level um, one, it replaces the item to, an, to any entity that's a zombie within a radius of 10 in the slot weapon of a stick. So it does the, so it does that exact same thing with um, the exact, with the same thing over here. So it does, if, it, if it's a level one, score level one, then it replaces the item on the zombie, um, zombie, slot, weapon, wooden sword. So then if I, if I, if it's one, which is over here, if I get the, um, the stone sword level one, which means that I have a stone sword, all the zombies in the world that are within a radius of 10 to me will get a wooden sword in their hand. And then it's the same thing over here. If I have a iron sword, which is over there, every zombie will get a stone sword in their hand and so on for a diamond sword and actually with the diamond sword it's two things the first thing they get an iron sword in their inventory and the second thing is on their armor dot head slot they get an iron helmet on them so they won't burn in sunlight so that makes them a little harder to defeat because they can't just burn in sunlight so that kind of gives you kind of a um, evolutionary thing for the zombie and the exact same and the creeper is a little bit different it's more about so yeah it's it's the exact same thing like chest level it's um but there's no zero in this um, level it's just that if you have um, a leather chest plate it's level one if you have an iron chest plate level two and if you have a diamond chest plate it's level three and then basically what it does is that if any creeper that I actually have another scoreboard going called explode and it basically gives it it's actually over here it um it gives any creeper with a fuse zero explode one so it basically means that any creeper that's just about to explode, it gives them an explode score of one. And then basically what it does over here is anyone who has a, yes, uh, anyone who has a um, glitchy mouse, has a mouse that glitches out all the time, will have a hard time putting their mouse into the area that they want to. But um, yeah, so basically any person who has a chest level score of minimum score of one, basically a score of one, will um it will execute for any creeper basically two execute commands it executes and then another execute command for every creeper within a radius of 15 with a score of explode of minimum one then it summons another creeper with a fuse zero in that creeper so basically you get double the power of that normal creeper so you get if you didn't have anything it would just have a normal creeper explosion if you did a leather chest plate you would have two basically two creeper explosions and then the exact same thing here except it's um it's bumped up the um it's it's way over here actually let me just go over there see like it's um chest level um minimum two so you have a minimum of um two so if you do that then over here it summons a creeper but the explosion radius is now four so it's a, it's an even more powerful explosion even more powerful explosion and then the exact same thing over here it's just with a diamond chest plate it makes it summons another creeper with an explosion radius of seven so I mean, it, it basically kind of um, amps up those creeper power explosion. It, it makes them more powerful as you kind of progress. But if you don't have any armor or any swords on, the um, zombies and the creepers will just be normal. 
as they normally are. But then as you start getting more things, then they um, start evolving more. I mean, you can you can put this to any mob. You can make it so that every zombie pigman in the nether, if you have like flint and steel on you or something, they would all have like a gold chest plate on them or something. And you can you can do this with the new replace item command. And it's, it's really cool where you can directly replace an item. Even if there's already one there, you can just replace it so that it's actually, um, yeah, I mean, it works really well. And it's kind of, it's, pretty cool so i um hope to see you guys later and bye